Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 448. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 440 to 451. Hey, in Trick 448, want to see something, uh, you, how to use the offset function to avoid the reference error. Equals this cell right here, but what happens if you delete this row? Right click, delete. You get a reference error, and reference means something very simple. It means that cell reference is gone. It was looking <coughs> at uh, B13, but when we deleted it, it realized we deleted it and gave us that error. I'm going to Control Z, Escape, Control Z. To avoid that, you can use the offset function. Offset. Now, reference. I'm always going to be sitting in the cell. This is one of the few functions you can put B2, which is the actual cell the function is sitting in and not get a circular reference. Right? The reference, that's the starting point. That means from this cell, comma, how many rows do I want to look down? I'm going to click 11 here. You could type it in. It'll look 11 down now. That way, when you delete it, it doesn't care because it's not looking at the cell, cell reference. It's always looking 11 down. Comma, how many columns do you want to jump over? So remember, starting point, we jumped down 11. But now how many columns? We don't want any 0. Comma, the height, it's 1 by 1. So I put height is 1, comma, width is 1. Now, let's just learn about the default settings in the offset function. If you leave the width argument out, it assumes it's 1. If you leave the height argument out, it assumes it's 1. If you leave the rows or columns out, it assumes it's 0. You have to have at least one of those somewhere. But I'm going to leave all of those out. Are you kidding me? That's it. That's all we need. Close parentheses and um, comma. We need the comma because it needs to know that there is, uh, by default, we leave it out. It assumes it's a 0. Control Enter. It's looking down there. Now, let's, oh, let's just change this number 5 to prove to ourselves. Sure enough, it's looking down there. Now, if I right click Delete, I right click Delete that row 13. And sure enough, it, uh, in, it um, grabs that value. So there you go. Um, and you can use similar tricks for ranges of value, too. Right? If you had a whole range and you had a sum function looking at it and you were deleting stuff, and uh, you could do that also. But there you go, looking 11 rows down, no matter how many of those rows we delete. All right, see you next trick.